Whoa! Something else, John Master Lee. And Lulu. All right, fall in reverse. We've been on this train now for a couple of stops, and the fans are saying that we have to watch all the way through one by one. There's a sequence. So this is the next one, Voices in My Head. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't complain because I'm loving it every time. They're kind of like the whole package here, right? Amazing music that covers many genres with a front man that has a colorful, which is a nice way of putting it, history past. Kind of a crazy dude. He's on Twitter. Which, which makes him cool for me. He's hooked up with a WWE wrestler, Double Cool, and his music videos have all some sort of geek cred to it, whether it's mm -hmm. an homage to superheroes, vampires, werewolves. So this one, yeah. let's see what, what he breaks out. I can't wait. What's going on with his hair on this one? <laughs> what I have noticed is uh, a running theme with his music about how he's, he's very self-aware of his situation, right? Like mm. the kind of trouble he's got into the past. You know, the good side from the bad side of him and that struggle that he's constantly going through back and forth. So, yeah, my guess is this is kind of about, like, you know, voices in the head telling me to do these things, but whew, I know better. Mm, right, know, but right. But he's channeling to the music. And that, that's, that's cool. what I love about him. You should channel your anger to music, too, rather <laughs> than towards me. I think that would be healthier. All right, let's do this. By the way, if you want to hear some wild stories about Vegas, well, check out my show. And if you want some hotness, check out my fantasy show. The voices in your head are telling you to subscribe. Or maybe it's the Dean Don in your pants that's telling you. <laughs> and away we go. The voices in my head keep on telling me to pray because I'm spinning like a carousel circle in the train. Hit the bottom of the bottle. I don't want to feel the pain. But His head looks so now. big. I don't want to talk about the voices in my head. Yeah, this does feel like it's from that scene. And I know my time is coming, so there ain't no time to waste. Silence of the Lambs. I don't want to talk about the voices in my head keep telling me to choose a side. It's heaven or hell, like it's do or die. I'm a sad boy, you know better. Please don't make this last forever. Videos are definitely light. Telling me I'm cursed. I'm paranoid. I don't want to make it any worse. We're all going to die. But first things first, I'm going to take the world with me when they put me in the dirt. The verses in my head keep on telling me I'm cursed. I'm paranoid. I don't want to make it any worse. We're all going to die. But first things first, I'm going to take the world with me when they put me in the dirt. Move. Woo. Whoa. His songs all 
I feel like they all end very abruptly, and it just leaves you going like. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> just kind of in a state of shock and awe. Well, I'm always, always like, you know, end up with like amazed by his work. I love his creativity. I swear to God. His music videos are on a whole nother level. The amount of thought he puts into it and where he draws an inspiration from. This one feels like it's a kind of a cross between The Matrix and John Wick. He kind of has a John <laughs> Wick look to him. And he goes around just killing people like an assassin. But, you know, a couple of those scenes when, you know, Neo had to fight a whole bunch of Agent Smiths, you know, that kind of thing. And uh, the choreography. But it, it's an interesting sort of pattern here. Again, you know, he's very self-aware. And I think he's self-aware enough, especially like if you kind of add this together with the monster video and it's this that he realizes this popularity that he's gotten and this exposure that he's gotten is due to his notoriety but at the same time it's like i don't want this like you know in many ways i kind of want this to go and i you know and at some point i'm just letting you know if i can you write this you know i might lose it you know mm -hmm. like it might overwhelm me and like in the end of that video type of thing so it, i think it's kind of a potential cautionary tale here that if he continues to ride this train leveraging this it could be a scary place that he goes to so i, I hope he's also self-aware enough that he could step away from that and go like okay this is just a persona that I, I'm putting on. Well, I think it's kind of like that, right? There's so many of him trying to, okay, not you. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to replace that kind of persona again with a different. So it's like. Yeah, but I think the problem is all these personas have that. I mean, if you look at all of them, they're all. Nuts. Problematic. So, yeah, they're all problematic. <laughs> the one that yeah. he kind of goes to is the one that is like the calm one right like he's sitting there buddha like mm -hmm. the beginning or in the other one where he has his daughter in it there's this other side to him that i think that he's constantly trying to say like it's either trying to break out or hold on to mm -hmm. um while you know, he continues to ride this crazy train if you will this is why i actually think that if you are any kind of famous today and it's built upon you know one of the pillars that make you go viral right which is over the top controversial crazy kind of thing you have to make sure that you don't believe it or get caught up in it to the point where, you know, you think that's you. It's going like, to ruin yeah, your whole yeah. life. You have to realize yeah. that it's a persona. You have to be able to control it in that box. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if you carry that home to your day-to-day -day life. Right. You that know, can make you cuckoo. I think right? it can make you cuckoo, yeah. Yeah. So and for his case, I don't necessarily think it's that way. I think it's the other way around. He was, you know, genuinely, you know, has notoriety in his real life. By talking about it, you know, can help. Does it potentially hinder his, hinder his um, I don't know what you would call it, recovery, I guess, if you will. He does seem like a very different person when you see him in real life. So I, I think there is a, clearly, this is like fantasizing. Maybe this is what he, he lets loose now. Mm -hmm, yeah, right. right. So he finally he um, figure out the, right? He finally figure out the algorithm or whatever that separates him from... Oh, that was that was that was deep, y'all. Wow, that, was... that was a lot more than I thought I would get into. <laughs> Damn, John. I really just want to say the music video kicked ass. Yeah, that's it. Okay, <laughs> jeez, man, stop making me so analytical, Damn. Ronnie. Damn. <laughs>